In the first decade of the 20th century, a Ford Model T car passed a blacksmith's shop in the Japanese town of Hamamatsu. As it passed, it shed droplets of oil onto the dusty surface of the road. The blacksmith's eight-year-old son saw the droplets glistening in the dust and, putting his fingers to the mysterious jet-black substance, raised it to his nose. As he sampled the smell of engineering for the first time, Soishiro Honda thought of perfume. Born in 1906, Soishiro Honda was the eldest of nine children and, from his earliest days, was fascinated by machines and engines. Out walking with his grandfather, he would watch the engines that powered a local mill. This interest would grow in 1914 when an American stunt pilot performed a flying demonstration in a nearby town. Determined to see the display, Soishiro arrived at the showground only to find he didn't have enough money for the price of the ticket. Climbing a nearby tree, however, gained him a clear view of the events, and for free. The sight of the plane made a deep impression. Returning home, he manufactured bamboo propellers for his bicycle and, wearing an improvised flying helmet, flew around the garden. In 1922, Soishiro was apprenticed to the Art Shokai service station of Tokyo engineer Yuzo Sakakibara. He learned how to repair engines, the importance of good customer care, and most importantly, to take pride in his skill as an engineer. One of his first assignments was being sent to mend the pumping engine at a local fire station. The firefighters were dismissive of the young man. What? Is this boy supposed to do the job? Artco has a nerve sending over a runt like this. Soishiro was not deterred. He persisted and soon had the pumping engine working. In 1923, Yuzo Sakakibara gave Soishiro permission to build a race car using the chassis of a Ford and the engine of an old Curtis plane. Known as the Curtis Speedster, it was in this car that the young engineer won his first major race. This first victory was the start of a ten-year period of racing. Soishiro was soon joined by his younger brother as mechanic, and the Honda brothers were a formidable force on the racetrack until, in 1936, their racing career was dramatically cut short. Racing with his brother beside him, the Curtis was in a collision with another racer, crashing badly. Both young men were injured, and Soshiro would carry facial scars from his injuries for the rest of his life. Throughout his racing days, Soishiro had continued to work for Yuzo Sakakibara, and in 1928 he was given permission to open a branch of Art Shokai back in his hometown of Hamamatsu. He rapidly grew the business. A photograph of the time shows the Curtis Speedster, built by Soichiro in 1923, and standing beside it, the man himself. In the background is an early Honda innovation, a hydraulic lift that allowed engineers to work comfortably beneath cars. Two other innovations are visible in the photo, both of which are on the garage sign itself. One is the presence of a phone number, still a rarity in the 1930s, and the other is the language that the sign is written in, both English and Japanese. Soishiro Honda knew that many prospective customers were car-owning American expatriates and recognized the importance of communicating with these customers in their own language, hence the bilingual sign. In 1937, he left Art Shokai to open Tokai Seiki Heavy Industry, his intention being to manufacture piston rings. The idea was good, but upon testing, the rings proved too brittle for use. Undaunted, he returned to school to learn how to improve his design. He proved an unconventional student, refusing to attend lectures he felt irrelevant and declining to sit exams. When challenged on how he would achieve his diploma, Soishiro responded, A diploma is worth less than a movie ticket. At least with a movie ticket, you're guaranteed to see a movie. Shortly afterwards, he was expelled, but he learned all he needed. With his new skills, he produced successful piston rings, and the business grew rapidly until, in 1940, the factory was damaged in a wartime bombing raid, and then damaged even further by an earthquake. This marked the start of five hard war years. While Soishiro struggled to run Tokai Seiki during the hardships of the war, his future business partner, Takeo Fujisawa similarly faced the hardships of life in wartime Japan. Born in 1910,
Fujisawa was a successful businessman and marketeer. In years to come, it would be he who would bring the sales drive to Soishiro Honda's engineering brilliance. Initially based in Tokyo, Takeo Fujisawa moved his own engineering business to the safer city of Fukushima, as Tokyo was leveled in the repeated air raids of the war. Observing the emergence of organized crime in Tokyo as law and order disintegrated in the face of the bombing, Fujisawa almost never returned to the city. A friend, however, persuaded him to come back. If he hadn't, Takeo Fujisawa and Soishiro Honda might never have met. <laughs>